a sea of people amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Hundreds and thousands of migrants desperate to reach their homes in rural India. They converged at a bus terminal in Delhi as the state of Uttar Pradesh sealed its borders. The police force overwhelmed by the crowds. The surge of people forced the government to arrange thousands of buses to take them back home. Men, women and children have walked for many miles crossing state after state in a lockdown. There is no social distancing or protection for these poor daily wage earners and contract workers. This informal sector forms almost 80% of India's workforce. The government failed to factor in such a rush while locking the country for 21 days, giving just four hours of advance notice. Police have beaten, seized vehicles and even threatened jail sentences for those defying the restrictions. Here in Delhi, the national capital, the borders have been sealed and police have put up barricades checking everyone's identity card. Only those involved in essential services are allowed to be on the road. Chris, Paula and Mandy from Derbyshire are caught in the lockdown on their dream holiday. Having spent a night on the streets, they are urging the government to help them get back home to the UK. We can tell you back. Really? I mean, it's, it's laughable. We do feel that people are, I mean, they're sympathetic. But it's just like, what on earth is your government doing for you? It's like nothing. They're not doing anything for you. In a country where medical facilities are inadequate and social distancing measures are clearly being ignored through desperate attempts to escape, the virus has a potential to spread like wildfire here. Indian intervention. Neville Lazarus, Sky News, Delhi.